Oh my god, throw up everywhere. She kept going and going. And I can't even clean it up right now, so it's kind of still left there. Kevin's okay, gotta get on the bus right now, and I can't like mess up his routine of getting on the bus because then that's gonna be another thing. Yeah, don't touch anything, okay? All right, Gavin, come on, let's go. What's this here? Gavin, let's go, buddy. We got Gavin on the bus. How are you doing, Logan? Logan's sick. It's on my bed. It's not in there. Grabbing some towels because Melina threw up. <laughs> she threw up everywhere. I'm afraid she might throw up again because that was last night, her throwing up a few times. Like every, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 minutes, every hour maybe. This is this morning right now, I took them off. These are all last night, so each one of them are, are for the time that she woke up in the middle of the night. So this must have been like, I don't know, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. Okay, <laughs> she's in the bath now. It's hot, <laughs> I'm already sweating and running around, just seeing all the mess and it's just. I'm so tired. Yeah, we were up pretty much every hour last night after like, what was it like, maybe like 10, 10.30, because I remember I had just started falling asleep and she started crying and I let it go the first time because she fell right back to sleep and then the second time, I was like, oh, I just want to go to sleep. Maybe I'll just grab her and um, have her lay with me. And that's when I realized that she had chunks of throw up all on her bed. And so after that, it was like every hour pretty much. And um, she gets really loud and she gets really like emotional when she throws up. So it was like, it was a big thing. It wasn't just like a easy thing every time. Every time, like I had to like hold her every single time, hold her up, tell her it's okay to pick it out, keep going. And then obviously wiping her down every single time and then getting her to fall back to sleep. It actually started um, not so much with her, it was Logan. So Logan's been home for the last, what's today, Thursday? He's been home since Tuesday because he had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. So we, um, he didn't feel like going because the appointment was in the middle of the day and I told him, you know, we'll see how you feel. And um, he was really just like wanting to stay home with me. So he did. And it was just me and him that day. I mean, I did go to school. The next morning when he was getting ready to um, get ready to go to school, he just, I don't know where he just threw up. But before that, he had woke up. He was on the potty when I found it, when I woke up. And he had diarrhea. <laughs> So um, somebody brought home a stomach bug and it's just making its way through. Logan threw up again last night. Uh, well, not last night, but like uh, yesterday afternoon. Even this morning, he was on the potty at like 5.30. When Gavin woke up, Gavin woke up like at 5. <laughs> and then Gavin woke up at 5. Um, so that's why I've, I've had very little sleep. Gavin is fine right now. He did go to school. Um, he has had therapy the last couple days. He did have ABA and speech. So he's, and, and he's kind of like separates himself anyways from Logan and Melina. So um, I'm hoping he doesn't get the bug. I'm hoping I don't get sick. And <laughs> it's just crazy because like, I'm just dealing with, you know, Basil, my dog, is like, you know, kidney stones, he's teen everywhere. He's old too, so I mean, that's like, he can't control it anymore and he's getting a little lazy, but on top of that, it's like the blood from the kidney stones that he's peeing out. So I'm constantly having to clean after him throughout the day. Um, and then Melina and Logan yesterday, oh, not, you gotta put it inside. Oh, not the water outside, mama, you gotta put the cups inside. Um, cleaning up after them the last, Pretty much two days because Logan threw up. When he threw up those two times, it was everywhere. <laughs> and on top of that, I am ovulating right now, so I experience um, ovulation pain. I think it's called middle middle smirch. It's a weird name. Um, I've had it for like five years now, or six years. I can't remember. Um, that hurts like a mother. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Um, and I have had my, I don't know what it is. I have vestibular, I almost feel like they are vestibular migraines. Um, somebody just left a, a comment on a past video that I had done about having dizziness and what that felt like and going to get an MRI, a BNG. I've had um, blood work. I think I did a CT scan. Um, no, a CT scan, it wasn't an MRI, it was a CT scan. Um, just to figure out what is causing the dizziness and um, just the feeling of like that anxiety feeling of not knowing what it was. I was just telling Robbie yesterday that I think it might be, cause now that I know that I get migraines, I feel like it's maybe like some type of like vestibular migraine, but it like, it's that's not fun either. So I'm just dealing with so much right now and it's like, I'm trying to have like good days because the kids are gonna be out of school next Wednesday. So they have, 
Friday and then the weekend and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Melina's last day is Tuesday, but the boys is Wednesday. And I'm like, they're already cutting it in the middle of the week. They're getting off at 11 on Wednesday. So like, I'm trying to find some days to like really have like me time. And it just seems like it's just not happening because you know, we're either getting sick or I'm going through some type of crazy, crazy things that I just don't understand, so. Um, Mama shark. She's in a good mood though, so. Daddy shark. We get you all cleaned up. We're gonna find you something for breakfast. We don't really have anything. I think I need to get out to the store today because um, Logan's being real picky too about what he wants to eat, and so I'm trying to get them things that they're not gonna throw up. So we need to run out to the store with two sick kids <laughs> and me in pain. It's gonna be crazy. Do you want to see yourself? Look. Hi. Say, I'm taking a bath. Tell them, I'm taking a bath. <gasps> you wanna show them? Yeah, you can show them. The baby shark. <gasps> Who's next? Baby shark, baby baby Which one looks good to you? Like Are you a monkey? Yeah, monkeys eat bananas. Does Logan eat bananas? No. No? Just Gavin? Okay, let's go get some eggs. Yeah. You gotta find a cashier. Where's the cashier? Look over there. Look. This way. Keep going. You gotta look for the cashier. Logan. Look to your right. Yep. All right, that was a quick little trip to the store. Um, Logan's such a good little helper when it comes to like picking out things and um, putting them on the the checkout counter. And then he's just so cute. Um, but I talked to Robbie before we left, and it seems like he got the bug too, uh, and he can't get out of work. So. Um, He's gonna suffer through it, and uh, I had to get him some probiotic stuff too for his tummy. Um, and then I got some extra stuff for myself just in case I end up getting sick. And then apples. just like we got, we got apples. Yeah. yeah. What else? Rice. Rice and pancakes. Did we get you pancakes? Pancakes are circles. Yep. And apple juice. You see yourself laughing? <laughs> She's sitting here with me uh, while I edit my video. And this is why it takes me so long to do videos. Because I have babies already all the time. Don't put it to the end. Oh, we're tater tats. Yay! That's a good video, huh, Mama? She likes this one. Is it hot? Hot tater tat. How's your tummy? Hmm? Real good? Yeah. And your butt? Yeah. Your poopies? Yeah. Does it still hurt? Yeah. <laughs> hey Gab. You know you're all smiles right now, huh? Did you find your apples? Uh, yeah. You found an apple? What are you doing? You going to bed? Well he made it through the whole day, huh buddy? You don't feel sickies? No? He's like dog, get out of here. You're gonna, you're gonna go after Barley, aren't you? Oh no. He's grabbing his cards. Yep, they're all there. Get your pillow. You lounging? Okay. He's itching his foot. <laughs> all that dirt you get in them. Yeah. Yeah, dirty feet. <laughs> his face. Let's see. Toe jam. Ew. You got toe jam? So we made it through the day. Didn't get sick, at least, yet. <laughs> uh, Logan still, I tried to kind of lay with him for a little bit and uh, he was putting me down for a nap and then uh, he wanted me to read him a story. <laughs> um, but he's still in pretty good spirits. He still has not ate much though. Um, so he's watching a movie now, just kind of chilling. And I haven't felt like really sick or anything. Like I haven't, I don't feel like I have a stomach bug 
although I kind of feel like things may be brewing. <laughs> Hopefully it does not, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so Melina woke up from her nap. She didn't throw up or anything. And she woke up pretty happy, not crying like normal. <laughs> Um, oh, there's still a tag on your little shorts. But she looks like her cheeks are a little red and she feels like a tiny bit warm. So I do want to check her temperature. Right, Mama? Can we check? Let's see. Let's try it one more time. You feel okay? How's your tummy? Your tummy feel okay? Eight point four. All right, let's give it another try. Should be pretty, pretty accurate on that. But I always like to check it a couple of times to see if it, especially if it keeps going up. Like then I just want to do it until it doesn't go up anymore. All right, mamas. Here, one more time. Ready? <laughs> okay, ninety-eight point four seems to be. All right, maybe it's just because you were all wrapped up but her face does look a little chappy me and robbie were just talking about how like that's the thing about them being back in school and especially because all of them were in school now is and face masks not being uh, required is that they're gonna bring home germs now and they're gonna get sick and oh it just sucks i just this is the part of like you know the kids being in school that sucks the most is that they're always not always but like they get sick you know they bring germs it's natural i know but it's like it just sucks because we don't feel good, huh? And then we get cranky. And then we want so much attention. Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got it? Here. Ooh, good job. <laughs> All right, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Gavin is doing this cough that Melina was kind of doing before I noticed that she was about to throw up he has hiccups though <laughs> which is also throwing me off and I'm thinking he's about to do it it's not even the hiccups but it's more the cough let me see if he'll do it. see like oh I mean he's been smiling and he's been you know eating so I don't know if he just doesn't like if he's not fully aware that what's happening hey don't pick on your phone if you're going to please <laughs> you doing okay buddy you all right Are you tired? Yeah, a little bit tired? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I can tell. I'm gonna probably move all these toys from the floor just in case, huh? Hey, I know, his, his OCD, like he wants everything. <laughs> the way he found them. Barley, quit it. So everything's gotta stay. All right, buddy, well you just better. <laughs> can I bring a bowl? <laughs> I'm gonna bring you a bowl. Can I bring you a bowl? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you need to throw up, you go Bleh. <laughs> Yeah, if you need to throw up, you throw up in there, okay? Put it away? Okay, I'll just have it nearby then. All right, bud. Mm -hmm. See, he's doing that and it's making me think he's going to throw up. No? You're not going to throw up? Can you throw up? Uh -uh. Huh? Mm -mm. Uh. Okay, so sick? Robbie's home now and he's not feeling good. He's probably gonna take off tomorrow. Um, but surprisingly, Gavin has not thrown up. He's been totally fine. In fact, he's been eating quite a bit. Um, I'm talking about you. He's looking at me through the window. <laughs> Melina and Logan really don't have an appetite right now. Like they're not wanting to eat. Like even their lunch they didn't want to eat. Um, I keep asking Logan if he wants anything else. Although he did have a fig bar, but he doesn't really want to eat like a meal. Um, and I'm not gonna pressure them. Melina, you okay? Did you go potty? I'm not gonna pressure them either to eat so much since it might just come up, but we do have some yogurts. We do have some applesauce for you guys. What, do you want some yogurt, mama? I wanna see if she'll go for this now. You wanna try that one? It's yummy. Look, it's orange. It's orange yogurt. Mmm, it's delicious. Try it. Try it. Mmm. Yummy, it's orange. Is it good? Try again. She's 
not sure. <laughs> she didn't want that probiotic one, so she grabbed one of these, which is whole milk, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll check in probably one more time before we end the vlog, um, but I just wanted to share. So I've been watching for the last probably hour or so on Netflix. They have uh, Love on the Spectrum, and I've watched it before. I think the first, the first season or the first series that they had a couple years ago. And this seems to be a newer season, but it's titled U.S., so I don't know if there was a difference in like the location from the other ones. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. I love watching this because... I see little bits of like my kids and these young adults that are looking for love and it's I don't know it's just kind of fun to like just imagine of the day of you know my kids going out there and trying to find love if that's what they choose you know uh, but it's just so cute I keep like just pausing it and laughing and just kind of squirming at like all the cute little uh, parts and it's just it's so fun to watch um, if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. It's really cool, it's on Netflix. It's called Love on the Spectrum. Um, I truly, truly do recommend it. And there's Gav, he's still, <laughs> thank you. Hey guys, um, quick update. It has now been a couple days since um, I first started recording for this vlog. I'm trying to get my yoga mat out. I gotta do my workout before Melina gets home. She just went to school and today is her last day of school. Tomorrow is the boys' last day of school, so I am like, <laughs> for one, it sucks that it we all got sick like right before the kids were gonna end school. So I really haven't had any days to just prepare for them to be home, you know, this summer. So it's been, um, yeah, it's just been, it was hard. It was really hard. So basically what I thought Thursday night when I ended up recording was that, you know, Gavin and Logan would be good. They would go back to school on Friday, at least finish Friday. I ended up getting sick that night. Logan surprised me and threw up that night, as did Gavin. So the both boys threw up that night and then I threw up that night too. I knew it was gonna happen. And the next couple days after that, was still we were not feeling good and it was really like i could understand like why it was hitting us so bad i mean it was even worse like me and robbie were talking about it like it just felt like worse than when we got covid because like just the bloating and like the pain in our stomach like at least with me like i can feel like just stuff like turning and twisting like it felt really bad like i it was really bad. It was really miserable. We couldn't eat. Nobody had an appetite. Like we had so much food in our fridge um, that we didn't eat. We spent the whole weekend inside the house. I think Gavin actually went swimming on Saturday, but he threw up that night. So um, yeah, it was really rough on us. So bad too that Logan's mattress because he puked up one, two, I think three nights in a row. I, I ordered a new one like we have a new mattress coming in and um, he just like I couldn't I couldn't keep letting him sleep on that so we took it out we have one coming in I think actually today it's coming in just because of how bad and how much how much throw up got seeped into the mattress it was really bad um, I'm still trying to catch up with our laundry <laughs> between like I said between everybody being sick and then basil too has been getting even worse these last few days getting outside to do his business He's definitely getting old and um, i'm considering getting him diapers actually because it's just getting very overwhelming it's just too much um i cried at one point over the weekend because it was really really tough it was just so much that we had to deal with i had to deal with a lot like i cannot believe how much and how and also how little sleep i had because i was attending to everybody getting sick so today is tuesday yesterday um everybody went back to school boys went back melina went back so sunday night everybody was good like sunday all day sunday none of the kids threw up nobody had any issues their appetite was still not there but they were good enough like they weren't showing any signs that they were not feeling well so i sent everybody back to school i feel like me and robbie are still kind of like lingering like with our stomachs like we're not really um like we're being careful on what we eat because we're noticing that little things are starting to like kind of um, like upset our stomach or we're getting full re really quick, which is um, probably due to the fact that we weren't eating as much the last few days. But yeah, that, that's just a little recap on how it is ending, I guess, us being sick 
it's crazy. I'm pretty sure one of the kids brought it home from school. But like I mentioned, it's the last day of Melina being in school today. So I'm really trying to get in as much of like me time. And then the boys tomorrow only have a half day at school. So like I'm just... I'm really scared <laughs> for what the summer is gonna be. But on a more positive note, we did um, end up booking our summer vacation. It's actually end of summer, so the kids will already be in school. Um, but with uh, the time that Robbie was allowed to take off and um, since we're not moving quite yet within the next few months, we thought we would kind of take a little bit of time to enjoy some summertime here um, and then uh, do a vacation go somewhere so that's gonna be fun stay tuned for that we are flying somewhere um, and we're taking the kids somewhere that they have not been before so it's gonna be fun I am so excited and I know the kids are excited I think Logan's more excited than anything because he's kind of like more aware of what we're talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here now thank you guys for watching our video be safe out there I hope nobody gets what we got but I keep hearing it going around but hopefully you guys nobody gets it at least not as bad as we did so um, so yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at the next one. Bye.